I think you have to go through the dark night of the soul, right? To see your shadow and to meet your most deepest rock bottom, to have the reverence for yourself, to say, I am a badass, but I've been through some shit to get here. And it wasn't for the shit, I wouldn't be a badass. That like, that's the truth. And just to go back to your, I love what you said about the, the autoimmune stuff and that like, it's a star seed thing. Like your body speaks to you. And there's this reference guide by Louise Hay. Have you ever seen it of like all ailment elements are related to what emotional issue. And for me, it was sinuses. So I contracted basically chronic sinusitis and it took me out. So I not only got like the mucus, I got the migraines, I got the fatigue where I couldn't get out of bed for literally weeks. I mean, it was so dark. It's a big ego um, death too. Mm-hmm. Cause you can't do, you can't do what you do. You know, you literally cannot. And it's, and it's, um, it's, it's infuriating in a way because you, you don't have a temperature, you know, you're not like, you don't have like a fever, you just feel like death. And, um, anyway, so according to Louise Hay, um, sinuses are connected to the irritation of particular people in your life. <laughs> and, um, which is like crazy. Cause I think we all walk around irritated. By yeah. people. <laughs> um, but, um, uh, for me, it was my business partner. And, um, this is a crazy story. In fact, I'll, 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 be, I'll make it quick. So my business partner and I had like a toxic relationship. We were like, love, hate, love, hate, love, hate. And towards the end, it was, there was not a lot of love mm-hmm. and we were running a business together. We weren't even communicating. She and I, 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 I after all this time I've created, there's so much love and forgiveness and self forgiveness regarding that situation. But you know, we were just, we, let's just say we came from very different parts of the universe. We were very different. And I kept getting sinus infections. Like I had nine in the span of one year. And if you do the math then you're out for a month, like I was sick for a year and they just kept coming. And then finally I had surgery on my sinuses and it was during the recovery of that surgery where I had to sit still and be inside my own body and with my own thoughts, like still was when I had that full on nervous breakdown and looked at the tattoo on my wrist said simply be and heard the inner voice and was got, got the message I needed to leave the business to go start this. And that was all because of my sickness. Like my sickness forced me there. And anyway, so got the surgery, ended up walking away from her and that whole situation and started simply be and this archetype of a female business partner presented itself again in my life a few years later. And just like that, I started getting sinus infections again. (laughs) And Uh, um, Surprise, surprise. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And this is, this is wild. Okay. So, um, I got one really particular bad sinus infection in 2019 and it had, it was triggered by an employee, like an activated, like woman in my business that was irritating me. And so I got super sick, like deathly sick, like was one of the worst sinus infections after like years of dealing with them, going through the surgery, healing, and then coming back down. I mean, it was dark. And I hired, I found this woman, I forget her name, her last name, her first name is Maggie. I heard her on Lacey Phillips podcast. She's a healer. Mm -hmm. And she talked about how she cured herself of Lyme disease and she now helps other people heal. So anyway, I called her up, made an appointment. We did a remote session, never met me before, never met me before. And she says to me, she did some like cool reading. I forget the name of it. She was like, about seven years ago, did you have a woman in your life that was jealous of you? And I was like, yeah. She's like, that woman is still in your energy field. And envy from like a shamanic point of view of all of the energy forces and 
experiences in the universe, envy is the most dangerous. Like there's love, there's anger, there's, you know, anxiety, fear, you know, compassion, joy, peace, whatever. Then there's the frequency of envy. And she explained to me how that is the most lethal of them all. And so I did a couple like sweet water baths. She gave me this like whole regimen. Her and I were ironically still friends on Facebook, um, even though we were never, you know, I, blo- I like unfollowed her. So I never saw her in my feed, but we were still friends. I blocked her, which was like probably in her mind, like all of these years later, like, wow, Jessica still cares. She blocked me. Like what, a, you know, how childish, but I did it from a spiritual boundary perspective. I was yeah. like, I, I need to get her completely out of my auric energy field and knock on wood, Christina, I haven't been sick in two and a half years, perfectly healthy. Amazing. I mean, I, I love that you shared that because I talk about like similar things on, on my show a lot. Um, I have a very similar thing with a lot of my chronic issues. You know, I came into this space through um, health, nutrition, and trying to heal my chronic illness. And it took me a while to figure out it was all spiritual and energetic and it manifests differently for me. It manifested for me as gut infections and bloating. And, And then it was very obvious, like, you know, years later. Oh, it's very connected to my business um, and specific things (laughs) that are in alignment and are not. But I, I love the conversation because this is where to me, like just more examples of how it's all connected, right? Like my, my health, my business, my relationships, they, they are all connected. And the energy of one is going to affect the energy of all of them. And if we bring this back to, you know, a brand, right. And like authenticity, if you're trying to build your business from, from a place of all of your relationships are out of whack, right. You're not taking care of your physical body. Like that affects your frequency. And then like, what is the frequency you're trying to build on? Right. Or like, you might feel like everything in your business is going wrong or everything in your body is going wrong. And it's actually, you're out of alignment with your business. (laughs) Yeah. Yes. The chills again. <laughs> yes. And it really all comes down to it. Like frequency, mm-hmm. energy, tuning in, being in alignment, being out of alignment. Like when you are out of alignment, shit stops working well, <laughs> like yeah. all across the board, like in your body, in your relationships, in your life, in your day to day, you know, like I see numbers all the time. Like I, the, you know, I'm, I see like Four 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 three 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 one 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 two two five 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 seven seven eight 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 all the time, mm-hmm. and it's it's amazing. But I I don't ever see the numbers on like really shitty days, like when I'm like really pissed at life or I'm having a hard mm-hmm. time or I'm stressed and anxiety when things just don't feel like they're they're in alignment, they're not flowing. And so, you know, whether it's your body like your gut or numbers on the street or whatever it is for you. The, the universe is going to mirror back to you. Like when you're in alignment and when you're not, in my view, there's, there's no better way to tune into that than connecting into your body. Mm-hmm. Um, it's our temple. It's where our soul resides. 